to that one point advantage. You're quite right, Tom, it can go against you. Now we have Fiori Nakamura from Japan, bronze medalist in the Senior Asian Karate Federation Championships, 26 years of age. She's had two Karate One wins under her belt. From Luxembourg, Jennifer Walling, European Games bronze medalist this year. She's also been a world junior bronze medalist, Karate One Premier League winner in 2016. Came through the round with a, a bye. Walling scored 8-5 in her second match. Walling in the Olympic standing is in 41st place. Referee for the bout. Jahange Babiev of Azerbaijan. When it comes to the standings, though, something you'll find is someone in 45th, 41st place or 20th place, a medal here today can jump you right up really quick. A couple medals in a row, and you're a contender. Yep. So. And, and, and equally, you can be sitting in the top five and then suddenly find yourself plummeting. Mm, exactly. Because everybody else around you are doing... Just like what we were talking earlier with Damien, consistency is the key. So you want to try and build a consistency. And as you and Damien um, are demonstrating, you're competing in the Karate One Premier League, the A-Series, the Continental Games, Pan American Games, European Games and uh, etc. So all of the competition taking every opportunity to add to those points. That is so demanding for your time isn't it Tom? It definitely can be and and something that stands these athletes if you're in a medal round today something you know everyone here is talented can kick and punch but if you're in the medal rounds consistently you've also learned how to it, it requires getting beat up right you have mm. to be able to take a hit or a bruise on the leg yep and still go six rounds so it's there's there are other elements that you learn besides just being skillful and tactical there's a toughness element too for yes. all these guys here today very patient action so far there's a counter punch there from walling she made the attack, but she ran into the defensive tactic of Shiori Nakamura. Yeah, if you're going to attack a Japanese athlete, you need to try and not go straight. It needs to maybe be an angle, or needs to be some faking involved. Some preparation before you make that attack. So Nakamura has the sensu advantage. And the Yuko score, Jennifer Walling, she's going to have to try to, she's still got plenty of time though, 1 minute 15 seconds, but she's going to have to try and find a way through the guard, that counter punch. There's another one from Nakamura to the midsection. Walling has received Hansoka Chui now, category 2. She can't afford to have any more category two. She will lose the bout. She'll have to be Hansoku. careful. And she's still got a long time on the clock, really. A third of the match still to go. That was a bit better that time, though, from Jennifer Walling. She drew an attack from Nakamura, didn't she? Mm -hmm. And that's how she was to be able to deliver the counter punch. Made Nakamura uncomfortable in the corner. Nakamura attacked straight. We have one point each. The only difference is the Senchu held by Nakimura. Nakimura with that little green dot on the side of the screen. 
That's the sent you signal. Jennifer's looking for that right hand again. A double punch, but Walling was moving rapidly backwards, so it's not possible to score. Perfect timing is when both are coming in at the same time, and that was perfect timing from Shiori Nakamura of Japan. She went underneath the punch. So that's Sen timing the exact same time, throwing your attack as your opponent makes their attack. There is a video challenge from the coach of Jennifer Walling. There you can see both punches go in. Walling going high and Nakamura just moving in, dropping to the side. And it has been rejected. It seems to have gone past the side of the Over face. Over the shoulder. That's that advantage when you drop low and, and attack to the body or counter the body. Your opponent's attack to the face might slip by. So no more opportunity for video challenge from the coach of Jennifer Walling. Nakamura just seeing out these last few seconds if she can in the corner. She will now lose the central advantage, so... Better be careful. She has to be careful. She is on Han Chui, so she can't afford a Category 2 warning anymore. There's still one second to go. As Jennifer Warning desperately tries a, a long-range punch, but it wasn't good enough. So the 2-1 win. Definitely something neat about this environment and this home crowd. The, the Japanese public, sometimes they may not cheer as loud, but their applause is just a roar. Yes, it, it is. It's very, so respectful. It is awesome. Nakamura bows to the tatami, comes down from the podium to the embrace, and here we have a chance to see that counter punch. Found the 